Search for Tomorrow. Brought to you by Came, the soap with cold cream. Keeping a soft complexion is as easy as washing your face with Came. Joe, it's Marge. Uh, are you and Arthur busy? Well, no, not at all. We're just sitting here having a quiet evening. Well, it's just that I have to talk to someone, and since Stu isn't at home... Now, come over and talk to us. I'm uh, waiting for Monica. She's upstairs talking to Jimmy. She told him last night that we're going to adopt him. Well, that's what you want. I'm scared, Joe. He's been acting very strangely. He doesn't act glad about it. He hasn't said one word to me. Well, I hear her coming now. I'll be right over. Goodbye. How is he? Marge. I don't know what to say. I, I feel awful about this. He's glad we're going to adopt him, isn't he? Marge, I've decided I can't give Jimmy up. You can't? But it's all settled. I know how you feel, Marge. I'm terribly sorry. Monica, you can't go back and forth on a thing like this. You can't keep changing your mind. The lawyer is getting the papers ready. You promised. I know I promised, but I just can't go through with it. How can you say that? Because when I decided to do it, Marge, I didn't know how much it was going to matter to Jimmy. Are you trying to tell me that Jimmy doesn't want Stu and me to adopt him? Oh, of course not, Marge. It's just that he feels that I was letting him down. But you had let him down. Yes, I guess I had. We'd made an agreement that we were going to stick together. So I just told him now, Marge, that I'm not going to go through with the adoption. We are going to stick together. I don't care what happens. I just can't believe it. I can't. I'm sorry, Marge, but it's true. I should never have agreed to doing it in the first place, but I, I felt it was selfish of me to keep holding on to Jimmy. I felt maybe I wasn't thinking of his happiness first. Doesn't he love us? And he knows how much we love him. Oh, Marge, of course he loves you. Hello? Uh, hello. May I speak with Monica, please? Oh, yes, just a minute. It's Wally. I'll have to tell him, too. Hello? Uh, hi, baby. H how about me dropping over for a little while? Tonight? Right now. All right, Wally, I have something very important to talk to you about, too. Okay, I'll be there in eight minutes or else I'll be in jail for speeding. All right. Hey, Monica, I'm going over to the tapes. Oh, I hope you're not going just because Wally's coming over here. No, I want to talk to them about uh, several things. And maybe Wally can get you to change your mind back again. I'm sure that he has much more influence with you than I have. And you're going to have to disappoint someone, Wally or Jimmy. <laughs> Sounds like your new baby boy wants to go home, Mrs. Allen. Won't be long now, nurse. And just getting pretty for his daddy when he gets here. You're pretty now. Wish I had such a nice, soft-looking complexion. Spend a lot of time on it? Just the time it takes to wash. With plain soap and water? Uh-uh. Came. Nothing plain about this. Came has cold cream in it. I didn't know that.
Cab ain't so easy on my skin. It helps keep my skin soft. There. Do I look good enough to go home? Mm-hmm. All that face needs is a touch of lipstick. Keeping a soft complexion is as easy as washing your face with Camay, the soap with cold cream. Ah, oh, Joe, I don't know what we can say to Marge. I don't either. If Jimmy doesn't want the Burgess to adopt him, it will break Marge's heart. You know, honey, she's really gone off the deep end about this. Wish Stu were home. I think he could give her a little better perspective on this situation. Well, that's probably Marge. All right, look. Let's just talk sense to her. Hi, Marge. Hi. Hi, dear. Hi. Arthur, Monica has changed her mind. She's decided that she's not going to let Stu and me adopt Jimmy. Monica changed her mind. I don't think she has any right to do that now. But why? Why did she change her mind? She says that he, he feels let down. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. This would mean that he hasn't loved us the way we thought he did. But I know he loves us. Oh, now, honey, it may not mean that at all. It may just mean that he loves Monica, too, and feels rejected by her. Oh, even so, he'd be a little disappointed, but he'd be happy to belong to us. A at least I thought he would. Well, of course he would. Come on in and sit down. Marge, try to look at this from Monica's point of view. Monica wants to get married with or without Jimmy. Honey, that's not the way she talked to me. She told me she wouldn't get married unless Jimmy was happy about it. Arthur, you don't understand. She needs to get married. Marge, that is true, but you know she loves Jimmy. Then why did she agree to marry Wally Turner? I've told her, and, and Stu's told her that Jimmy would never be happy about it. Well, maybe that's why she was willing to give Jimmy up in the first place, to let you adopt him so he'd be happy, too. Oh, now we're just going round and around. Now she isn't going to give him up. That's because she's found out how he feels about it. You don't understand. She knows how he feels about Wally. It's all unimportant now. Jimmy isn't going to be ours. And maybe he doesn't even care. That washer's the disgrace of the base. The skipper's shirts get dingier and dingier. No wonder. Even the last rinse water flush from your automatic is sudsy dingy. Think what's left on my clothes. Adjust the rinse cycle. Machine okay. What needs adjusting is your detergent. You safe suds and dash. You tend the machine. I'll tend to what goes in it. But that product over suds and hindered proper rinsing. Now dash keeps suds down. Rinses thoroughly clean. Well, I'll keep suds down by using less soap. That sacrifices cleaning power. Dash doesn't. It gives best possible cleaning without rinsing worry. Observe, safe suds and dash likewise prevents costly suds clogging. That dingy look is rinsed away completely. So clean, they're positively navy. Dash, welcome aboard. For ship-shaped cleaning, Dash. <laughs> you know, I, I don't see anything different. You look just the same as always. You know, between times, I, I keep wondering if maybe I'm mistaken. I just couldn't be this lucky. Well, maybe you're not so lucky, Wally. Sit down. Uh, I want to tell you what's happened. Uh, you told Jimmy about fixing it up with the Bergmans to adopt him. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about, Wally. I've decided I am not going to let the Bergmans adopt Jimmy. You're not going to let the Bergmans adopt Jimmy? He felt awful. What? Simply awful. He's crazy about the Bergmans. I know he is, but he felt that I was letting him down. Why, he's just scared a little, that's all. He'll get over that. Hey, he doesn't want to be part of my family. You know that yourself. Wally, all I know is I can't hurt him. I don't get it. I've tried everything I know how to make this work out. I've tried to make a hit with him. He just wouldn't have any. 
I arranged to send him to the best private school in this country that I know of, and he, he acted as if I were trying to send him to Siberia. And then, then, then we got the idea of having the Bergmans adopt him. He, he loves the Bergmans. Now he doesn't want the Bergmans either. I know. You know what I think? Jimmy wants you all for himself. He doesn't want you to marry me. It looks to me like he's in the driver's seat. Oh, Wally, all I know is I can't hurt him. You should have seen him. Yeah, I suppose he cried. Well, of course he cried. He thought that I was letting him down. Yeah, I can see the way it's going to be from now on. All he'll have to do is just, just ball, and then he'll get whatever he wants. Oh, Wally! You know, it all adds up to one thing. Jimmy is more important to you than I am. And he's only your stepson. Well, in a way, Wally, he's more important than I am, too. It isn't fair to you. You're not breaking our engagement because of Jimmy. Wally, please take it. It just won't work out. I'd be your husband. You'd have your own family. I... Well, it's a lovely idea. And I'm very fond of you. But I just know it won't work out. Because of a stepson that you don't owe anything to. All right. If that's the way it is, I... I guess it wouldn't work out. I'm not sure it wouldn't. Okay, Monica. I don't mind telling you I'm broken hearted. I never felt this way about a woman before, and I'm not likely to again. See, if you ask me, Jimmy's never going to let you marry anybody. <laughs> Imagine it. A 14-year-old boy keeping Wally Turner from marrying the woman he loves. in my family has a new reason to be happy. Marge, this towel feels so soft, and I just shaved. Gee, Mom, my blue jeans, they start scratching. Mom, my slip, it doesn't cling. All these reasons for being happy come out of this bottle. New Downy Fabric Softener, a new discovery from Procter & Gamble. Just add a little Downy to your final rinse, and Downy rinses amazing softness, deep, Downy softness into everything makes remarkable things happen. Mary's diapers are so much softer. And ironing. Why, Downy gets things so soft and smooth, my iron almost glides by itself. Yes, Downy makes everyone happy. This towel feels so soft. My blue jeans don't scratch. My slip doesn't cling. Downy does it all. New Downy fabric softener. Mm. Tomorrow is brought to you by Downy Fabric Softener, the new wash day discovery that rinses deep downy softness into everything you wash. It's new, dramatically new, the highest angel food possible from a mix. New Duncan Hines Deluxe Angel Food Mix. See for yourself. Duncan Hines is so much higher. And surprise, 